All right, everyone. I've got a guest on. She's fabulous. She's beautiful. She makes me wonder if I need to dress up more. And we're only on a Zoom. God, Sadie's stop. back. First Sunday of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, Sadie says. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> hey. We've got our cameras right. We got our lighting right. We're good this week. We're good. <laughs> I was just saying, so Sadie logged on to the Zoom and I'm like, damn, like what? Is that, do you have, is that that red lip bar? Is that the red one? Oh my God. Yes. This is, um, I actually just got this one yesterday. This is a new red. They have, I'm telling you, they have hands down the best reds and they're liquid mattes. And it. this one is Boss Lady and it's B-A-W-S-E lady so it's oh. boss lady and i it's awesome i'm sorry when i turn my head to the side i'm just checking in the mirror <laughs> but but it's like it's awesome it's a great red i think this will probably be my fall red because hot mama that they have will be my summer red and i'll wear that okay. another time but, but yeah this is this so is the hot mama more like pinky or well hot mama has more like this has a deeper tone to it Okay. But the hot mama, it's a little, it's a bit brighter, I feel. Okay. Not so much orangey, but just brighter. And um, it comes across as this great summer red. And um, they have so many, they have boy trouble and um, hot <laughs> mess. Like they're, and they all give you like, some of them have the hint of orange, another might have a hint of pink, but they're just, they're all amazing, all amazing. I'm like, I, I, we talked about how I love a good mat mm -hmm. and is it like instant drying or do you have to blot? Because I mean, I'm worried. Well, I'm the kid that goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, what it does is it, it somewhat instantly dries down, but I follow their instructions to a T because I want a perfect outcome. And what I think they say on the website is that you apply it and then you blot. And then you apply it again and you blot again. Oh. And those two, it's like what however they went through the scientific whatever to figure out how that works, I appreciate it because a lot of times people will just, you know, sell you the liquid mat or whatever. And it's like, okay, well, did I do it right? Because it's not working right. right. And um, it doesn't make my lips feel dry. I just don't feel like I have anything on. Like after a while, like after it's, I feel like I have nothing on. My mouth doesn't feel like the Sahara Desert. You know, it, it, it's, it's awesome. So it looks great and it feels great on your lips. So yeah, it's it's amazing. I got it. I'm just like, well, it's like accentuating every other, like your eyes, like everything mm -hmm. is just popping. Like it's giving oh, life to like the color, like a nice bronze color on your cheek. I don't oh, know. Oh, your hair is, well, I don't know. It could be you too. Like your hair is like glowing. Like what? Well, let me tell you, but, and it's funny because it's the lip bar, but they make all this other makeup as well. I just got right. their uh, skin serum foundation. I'm wearing that. Okay. And it, everything is vegan too. I think, yeah, I was telling you yeah, that. Yeah, that's awesome. Vegan. And I'm wearing their Fresh Glow. It's the double date palette for the blush and highlight. And it's like a contour and a highlighting blush. It's just, I, I have yet to find anything that I haven't been impressed with. <laughs> and I'm going to say like a lot, and I'm not like saying other companies that are vegan don't do HG justice, but like right. filming right now and looking right. at you, like you look like you have a professional makeup artist who did your makeup. You know, you have, you have a harsh light hitting you right now and it's right. not doing you any injustice. Uh, so well, like, <laughs> you know, like I said, I just got, I just got the skin serum foundation yesterday too. So right. I, you know, didn't exactly know. I was like, I don't know. Should I practice filming with this or I don't know, you know? And I was like, you know what, what the hell? We'll put it on. And well, that's good to know that it's not given like this weird, whatever. Wait, it doesn't have like that cakey look. It doesn't have like, there's no creases. Not that you have any of those creases oh. anyway. Cause you're only like 27 and you're lying about your age, Yeah, but it's giving you this like fresh face. Like the lip bar needs to make you their walking ad model. Like you are just embodying it. So the lip bar, 
Hello. 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 Send her an email. <laughs> all pretty well stuff. Yes. <laughs> um, so speaking about Sadie and her beautiful looks and everything, Sadie once again is joining us with a topic that I've, I actually was writing down some ideas. I'm trying to figure out her concept. And if you guys looked at the stories, there was a little hint of the topic today. And Lord knows this topic we all need right now. So Sadie, I hope you have a good one today because I need exactly what you're going to say. Um, Post-its are ready. Pens are ready. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, you know, everybody's kind of dying to get out, dying to go somewhere, dying to do things, just be active outside of, you know, where they are. Um, so I was trying to think of like, what would be a great way or what is a great way to escape without actually physically going anywhere? <laughs> so I was thinking about some things I was working on lately and I find a great way to escape is through just being creative, creating something. Like me, I write. Writing is a great way for me to escape. I find my mind going places and I'm not dwelling on the fact that I'm not physically going anywhere. Yeah, it's not the same as you actually getting out and doing something, but it does take your mind away to other places. Um, what I find is a lot of people who are creative, they escape by way of inspiration. Like some people could see a building, ah, like Project Runway. How many times have they had the assignment of, look at this building, design, you know, a whole collection or an outfit based upon what you see. And it's a way of kind of escaping to another place because you're kind of just putting yourself, you're kind of focusing on doing that, you know, and it takes your mind to other places, I feel. Same thing with like musicians. They could say, for instance, a songwriter. You could overhear a conversation or just have an idea about something, and then you've escaped into writing this song, and this is where your mind is and where it goes. You know, you, you never know. You know, you could have a number one hit on your hand just because, you know, you were <laughs> inspired by something. And I'll say with you, and I don't want to ramble, Dina, you coming up with these podcasts, do you find it to be like a way of escaping everything that's going on right now because there are a lot of heavy things that are going on right now right yeah that's actually you know i didn't think about that i come into my little studio and it's just like sail away sail away sail. <laughs> oh my god don't put that in my head so, it popped in. It i want to go where my... you stay with me <laughs> Oh no, oh no. But it's like you're like what you're saying, like so I'm while you're saying that, I'm looking right now where you are. And obviously if you guys are listening in the car, you don't see she has this like little nook that's just it says so there's like it's a little saying, there's these cute polka dots, and I'm like, oh like I, I have a little nook and that's where I go and I get away. Like you you don't have to literally get on a plane and go someplace. Obviously we would love to, but <laughs> find a place where you can step away, get away and go there. And it's, I mean, you could pack a bag if you want, if you're just going to the next room. I mean, I guess. I guess wine and cheeses and like. Right. like oh, I guess you could, you oh, could oh, ring oh. a bell. Would your husband come yeah. if you ring a bell? <laughs> like, put it away. <laughs> and wait, speaking about creative, now you, look, you've got my head going, okay? Uh -huh. See what happens when we talk. So can you then get creative and do a vacation within your house and set up different rooms to be different places or like maybe the bathroom's a spa and ring the bell and your husband comes with a hot towel? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. My husband, it would be dripping wet and like, or something, it would not be right, but... It burned in the microwave, honey. Sorry. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> it's not steam. It's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, that would be cool. I even wrote an article for Adventures Magazine not too long ago about 
things that couples can do. This is when we were hard down in quarantine, like you just could not leave your house. Oh. And, um, you know, just the idea of the picnic in the living room and you could set up the little fairy lights and you have your pillows and all of that. Or even um, I wrote about doing like a pickup picnic. So like if you have a pickup truck or whatever, just set it up in the back of the truck with your blankets and your pillows and your, you know, whatever mm. snacks and drinks and, you know, if you don't have the pickup truck, then do it on the patio or the porch or something, you know, just something to kind of make it seem like you're not where you are, you know? <laughs> I usually change the furniture around in my house to pretend I moved. <laughs> It's a lot of work. I don't suggest that. That might not be like a soothing remedy, but for me, it's like, oh, I'm in a new house. My husband says once a month, I go nuts. And I'm like, but I want to pretend I moved. It's like new house. New house. Yeah. I don't think my English master would be okay with that. He'd be like, what are you doing? Oh my God. It's like a horse. Yeah. He's 160 pounds of, of, you know, wants to eat all the time so oh my god okay all right you need does does your dog have its own room or um where we used to live he had his own room now where we live he doesn't but you know um you know we like everything's spaced out enough where he just he has his areas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, why are you doing a picnic in my bedroom? Get out of here. Take your creative self and go somewhere else. <laughs> you know, wherever you are is where he needs to be. He is definitely, he would be a lap dog. He thinks in his mind that he's a lap dog. He's just, oh, all right. Yeah. That could be, uh, I, I think I've I, I heard that a lot. People who have like those giant sized dogs, they think that they're the small ones and they just go and sit on you. And you're like, all right. Sure. Well, he's more of like, because he's so tall, and not to go on about Rama, but he's so tall when I sit on the couch and like he wants to give you loving, like his face is right here. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, Roman, come on, all right, go, you know, mama's had enough, go. Yeah. go, sit. go sit. Thanks. Thanks for slobbering. Close talker. <laughs> A close talker. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, but yeah, but see like, Oh, I love dogs. I'm more of a dog. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with cats or birds, whatever. I'm just a dog person. That's just me. I, I don't know. <laughs> like cats getting all like, like up in here and they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I've never, uh, never had. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, everyone's like, really guys, can you focus? Yeah, we can yeah, focus. Sorry, sorry. It, you know, it transcends into the conversation. I'm, I'm really excited about this concept because I think I actually did this. Was it like last month? I said to my husband, we're not obviously, not that we go every year on vacation. Um, I would love to, but you know, it's timing, his schedule, my schedule, all that stuff. So I said, one thing I wanted done was we moved into our house, which will be four years. We never really catered to the backyard. And I feel like sometimes like that's a last minute project for some folks. I, I don't know. And we had like the patio was weird. It was uneven in the back and it was like a slab of concrete and then stones. But mm. when they laid the stones, it was like, we're going to let weeds grow out. So it was like weed city, which would drive me insane. And then that like mossy stuff was coming up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I said, if we're going to be home this summer or I want to just get outside, I need like serenity. I need a place yeah. to go. Even uh, if he's inside with our son, I can go outside, just sit and I don't know. So like we, ha we have loungewear, but like the spiders were all up in it. And I was like, oh, uh -huh. like, I don't do spiders. No. <laughs> so we wound up having things done for us. We changed it up. I got new furniture. And now I feel like I have like this little oasis to go to. There's like a nice umbrella. We have like, of course we got a kiddie pool. Cause if it's too hot, I'm going in with my son. Right. Right. That's, my, that's like, that's my little getaway, like walk outside and I don't even need a beach badge. You know, I could just go. <laughs> I, that's awesome. That's something I've always wanted like that backyard just like you know i watch a lot of hgtv so i'm like oh, you know so i get real excited when i see these backyard makeovers where it's just like i'm like oh my god that would be heaven so having somewhere that you can that is an escape yeah. <laughs> having somewhere that you 
can escape to and then escape again by way of being creative who knows like being in those types of environments like the idea is that it sparks because you're at like this peaceful place or whatever it's just yeah i mean sky's the limit <laughs> i sometimes accidentally escape did you ever do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like when you're you when you're driving and you're like how did i get here like that's crazy yeah yeah but then i'm saying to myself like i don't know if i should be escaping like that like i probably should stay but i don't i still get there i don't know how i got there that's like some scientific stuff. We're going to have to get into like brain scientific stuff one day. Cause I need that answer. Like, I know it's probably, I can Google it, but that like, oops, that's what I yeah. yeah, no. Cause it's like, I'm like, oh wait, I don't even remember driving the last five minutes. Like, we're... it's like, I, all right. Okay. I, I did because I mean, <laughs> thanks doppelganger. Um, <laughs> But no, you can even escape in a, in a car drive. You can do like a little road trip if you, you know, can't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where I would go though. Where would you go if you could escape for a road trip? Let's do this. First one, you have to stay in Jersey for the road trip. Second, you can go road trip anywhere you want. Even though obviously certain states have restrictions now, but let's pretend right. we have no restrictions. Right. Um, Jersey? <laughs> like I'm, well, no, that's, that's the problem. Jersey. It's like, wah, wah. I, it's, that, it's funny because I lived there for years, and most of the time I just traveled around North Jersey, you know. And I'm trying to think, where would I go in Jersey? Wait, I don't know. I mean, it would have to be somewhere. It would be somewhere. Where is that I went? Where is LBI? Is that Jersey? Yeah, that's down the shore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I went there once and it was cool. So, so. Did you like, go to um, Chicken or the Egg? It's a no. restaurant. It's like a what? I went to that, but I, I didn't go. We went there. Oh God, we went there like with friends or whatever. And like I said, I know nothing. I don't know. I just get in the car and I ride, you know, I have time with them. So it was just, I was like, oh, it's nice because it was. I like beach feeling towns, right. not yeah. like foresty per se, but just like that cool laid back. I just like being anywhere near beach. So, so that was, that was cool. That was cool. I'm going to get mad at those friends. You have to, next time you go, you have to go to chicken or the egg. It is. So I'm not saying it's like everyone, it, it's rated because it's one of those spots to go, but they have right. like a lot of people go for the wings. They have like a wing challenge, whatever. But I honestly, this is so ridiculous. I like their egg and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was just like, really? That's what you went for? I said, like, yeah. <laughs> but they're open 24 7 too. So, like, uh, if you're out walking the boardwalk and it's super late and you don't want to slice some pizza and it's like nine o'clock at night, you can just go uh, and, you know. Uh, I think they call it Chegg, chicken or the egg, Chegg. Uh, okay. That's what the cool locals call it, Chegg. <laughs> and then there is an ice cream spot. I can't remember which street it's on, but every time. So my in-laws have a house down the shore, but if you take a boat, it's like 15 minutes to get to LBI. And mm -hmm. when we walk back to the boat, there's this ice cream spot and their ice cream is divine. Like, oh, see, I, I love ice cream. cream. Ice cream is my absolute like weak spot. Like I'll stand inside the freezer with the door open and just like. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? Like flavor. Oh. Don't worry about brand because brands are a whole nother boat. See, that's a good one because Ben and Jerry's has such cool mixtures yes. and I don't have just one, my favorite with them. But um, a lot of times I like just like vanilla bean ice cream with chocolate syrup. Like, and I add my, <laughs> yeah, that's the I, because my bottle is almost empty now. So that I squeeze it like, listen. I'm not saying quarantine's gonna happen again, but with all these states getting locked down, you better go get yourself more syrup. Because yeah, people no. are looking for the like comfort foods and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't need to do it. But do you do toppings? Like do you maybe not at home, but when you're out, do you do toppings? Um, I might do a couple, but as far I feel like it kind of gets in the way of my ice cream. You know, <laughs> like it I feel like I could do a couple. Like, I tell you what, and I've said this on my social media posts more than once, butter pecan ice cream would be amazing 
if they would just get rid of the pecans. Like if they I've never take had butter pecans. Out, the taste of it, it's like this buttery ice cream. It's so good, but like picking around all those nuts, like those pecans, it's just, it's too much. I'm like, it's too much. So <laughs> as far as toppings and ice cream, I like it like peanut butter chips, like the morsels or whatever. Okay. Those are good. But, um, and then caramel and like butterscotch. I like more of the stuff that you can just like squeeze out of a bottle as opposed to toppings that you got to chew. You know, it's my ice cream. I don't really want to be chewing, you know? I'm going to have to come up with, because there, I'm sure there is, there, there definitely has been studies on people and their ice cream flavors and toppings. And that could be a topic we do here one day. Like, how does that define you? Cause like, there's always the, you know, the question of soft served or hard ice cream. And uh, then, you know, there is a preference, like for me, I know soft serve like melts so much faster, but right. I am a soft serve kind of girl. I don't know. And now right. coffee ice cream, which is one of my faves, doesn't come in soft serve. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'll like swirl it around in the cup so it like isn't so hard. I don't know. Uh, no, I hear you. I mean, like I said, nobody wants to chew their ice cream. And oh, I can't. My, my teeth, I'm so sensitive. I'm like, ooh. Like, yeah, can you bite into an ice pop? Are you one of those people? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, that's like oh. psychopath stuff. Who bites <laughs> ice, bites ice pop? Like, you're supposed to, like, suck on them. You're not supposed to chew them. Like, it's weird. It's so weird. <laughs> That's like the people who get this soft serve in a cup, but they don't use the spoon. They just lick it. I'm like, what are you doing? They get a cone, you weirdo. Like, why? Yeah. No, oh, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it happened. Oh, my God. Anyhow, whatever. <laughs> All right. So now, because we did ice cream, any place road tripping, get your oh. creative self out of state. Yes. Um, I love just because it feels like me. And actually, after I'm done with this hairstyle and putting my hair back in locks, Cape Cod, that area, just like being around, like they have such rustic areas and their beaches are totally different from the beaches around here. Yeah. They're rocky and uncomfortable, like <laughs> leaping into the water, but you have your sand further back and it's just that rustic feel of it. I love it. It's just something so peaceful and serene. Like I should, I should have dreadlocks and have a Jeep with no doors <laughs> floating somewhere. That's like, that's who I am. That's, that's me. Nobody knows that to be me, but that would be me in another life. See, I would never expect that. Like, I could see, like, you have a lot of transitions with hair, so I could totally see you rocking anything with hair. But then when you said the Jeep with doors off, I'm like, wait, what? Like, hold yes. on. Okay. Yes. I want to be, like, on the rocks, like, driving the Jeep, like, off-roading and, you know, just, like. What I song just, are you playing now? What was that? What song are you playing in that Jeep when you're off-roading? You can only pick one. <laughs> this is going to sound so weird, but this is one of my favorite songs. Is it I'm a free girl? I'm stuck kidding. in the middle with you. Like it's something very beachy about that song to me. That's very, it's something, I don't know what it is about stuck in the middle with you. That Wait, song. How does that go? What's stuck song? in the middle with you. You know, like it's like, oh my God, who made it? I don't even, you know, Ooh, I'm, gonna I'm going to Google. Google. Yeah, go Google that. Because it's something about that song that's very like, beachy and free and it's probably corny to people but it's just a fun song to me and it just reminds Where's me of nothing you? how does this go well, oh i know what you're middle. talking about Stuck yeah. in the middle with you. yeah <laughs> so, it's something that reminds me of absolutely nothing and i like that it does that and i would probably think of like a list of other songs but it's just that song reminds me of just doing nothing but just being near a beach and like some rocky area and you got your trees off over here and it's wooded and it's this and it's that and yeah I don't then, know people are gonna think like who is she I thought I knew her but it's funny because you just created like this whole like you took us on like this creative path to get away but then you took us like right now if you were to put that song on and just close your eyes are you able to just escape and get away yeah yeah 
I would definitely that... I there. Every time I hear it, I escape there. It plays at work sometimes on one of our playlists, and immediately I'm in a good mood. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not even here. F these files. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to think, do I have a song like that? That just instantly, I don't know. <sighs> like, I have a lot of good songs I love, but I don't know if I have a song like that. Like, that's a good one. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. And like I said, there's a million other songs because I love music, but it's just that that one, for whatever reason, I can hear it in a supermarket or wherever I am. And I'm just like, immediately, I'm I somewhere. You with the, on a with the, the Corona. But, you know, like, I'm just thinking I got a drink in hand and I'm just like chilling. <laughs> She, I could see, like, honestly, if I lived close to you, I would purposely <laughs> walk up behind you in the grocery store and play that and see if you'd start, like, jamming out. Yeah, like, like, ah. <laughs> How do you, oh, I'm going to reach for that. I'm going to reach low. <laughs> She's going to grab, like, the intercom when they, you know, call people. Be like, all right, <laughs> this is baby on here. Aisle five is the party. Here we go. Stuck. Yeah, no, you got to ask my older daughter how I am with the songs in Supermarket and Michael's or wherever we <laughs> Oh, did you just like start dancing? No, oh, I'm going down into dance, and she's like, and then I got her to doing it, and then we'll swap the camera and record each other. Anyhow, for <laughs> but see, even it's like even at a store, like having the music and the dancing, you're like stepping out, you're getting away, and I, I think people always forget that just having a little laughter, a little fun, a little 15 minutes, if you will, allows you to step out of your head, which is, you know, I feel like. Like when we do our podcasts, I get to step out of mom mode. I get to step out of wife mode. Yeah. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, it's a new, it's a new place. It's a new spot. I close the door. I'm in my studio. I'm like, we're good to go. Right. And then, you know, I got to step back into that and hear him ah, screaming and yelling, but you don't but always have to spend. Human. Yeah. You always, you always have to spend money to get away. Yeah. I, and I think honestly, right now, like more than ever, that is the best advice to offer people because I know people now, they're getting even more upset because all of the closure, not the closures, but if you go someplace, you have to quarantine. So yeah. listen, unless you can, you're staying there for a month and you can quarantine for the 14 days, it's almost pointless to go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, it's weird, you know, because we, we just got back from Atlantic city Okay. Uh, it's my husband's birthday weekend. So we're like, you know what? Nothing's really going to be open that much, but at least we can get away. Even if we're in a hotel room, you know, for the duration, at least we can go to the beach or, you know, right. Go to dinners. And, um, it was a weird experience because we did, we stayed in the hotel. We would venture through the boardwalk a couple of times, but I just didn't really feel all that comfortable being yeah. out like that. So, uh, we had to make reservations for each night for dinner. Like I made those two weeks in advance just to make sure we'd be able to eat while we were down there because, you know, places are only open until maybe about nine. And then uh, you can't just walk in and expect to, to be seated, you know? So it was definitely a different experience, but you know, it was good to get away even if we really didn't do much of anything, but kind of like hang out in the room. So, and I think to echo what you're saying too, as, as much as we need to get away, I think there is a, what's the word I want to use and not an outcome. If, I don't know what word I want to use, but we get away, right? We, whether we go down the shore, um, we take a little road trip, but I think the ultimate fabulous thing about it is that there's always this one thing where, Oh, I can't wait to get home and sleep in my own bed. And yeah. I think what we forget about what we're actually mentally saying is wow, like we actually get to come home to something we truly love. And even though it's chaotic in and right. out every single day, but there's that nice feeling of, it does make me happy because when yeah. I know I'm one of those people after two days, I'm going to go home. Like, <laughs> unless I'm in like, I'm on the Caribbean or I'm like in right. Turks and Caicos or something like that. But like, I'm, even when I was in Turks and Caicos, we did a destination wedding. I could not oh. wait to come home and be in my own bed. I don't know if it's because like, I guess I get homesick, but it was just, okay. there's a different feeling of home mm -hmm. for me. And again, I'm not saying I want to stay home 
all the time because <laughs> it's a lot, but there yeah. it's, it's, there's this nice feeling of coming home and mm-hmm. my pillow. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. Cause yeah, when I got home, my, my daughter actually, she did the house sitting and watched the dog, her and her boyfriend some while we were gone. Cause we were gone for four nights. Oh yeah, wow. We okay. Four nights. Yeah. Yeah. We were really trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so um yeah, just to kind of come home and I was even disappointed because she had to leave before we got here because I was like, oh I'll get to see pumpkin, you know, because she's grown and she's living her own life and everything. So I was like, oh and she was like, Well I'm gonna have to leave, you know. Okay. But um just um, you know, getting home and being back at home, there is something to say for just being like <sighs> Yeah. So it's a, I think it's a nice reminder. I think the two go hand in hand and, you know, like you guys maybe didn't go out of state, but still just right. to get away for a little bit. And let me ask you a question. Were, did you feel that the hotel rates were less expensive because no one's going anywhere or were they still the same? We actually got hooked up. So we were, <laughs> that was the best. So you they walk in and be like, hello, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> We got hooked up, so we were we were good, and uh, we and that was another great thing about the trip. We didn't have to worry about the hotel, so we just you know paid for whatever dinners. So we wow. ate, girl. When I say we ate, we <laughs> ate very well. It was like lobster every night. But um, but um, I will say the like the hotel we were in, we stayed at Caesars, and it was uh, it was pretty dead in there, which. I wasn't mad at, you know what I mean? I was actually pleased with that. And everything was, there was no pool, no spa, all that was closed and uh, no room service. And uh, as far as our breakfast, breakfast, brunch, lunch or whatever, we were grub hubbing it. So they would grub hub to the valet. They couldn't come up. So my husband had to go down and grab food, you know, so it was a different experience than what we were used to there, but you knew that there would be with everything that's going on. So we're prepared for that. Right. But, um, I mean, it was, it was, you know, just getting away because, yeah. you know, we only went like a couple hours down the road or whatever. It was still a getaway, you know, in a different surrounding for a little bit. It made us feel like we were further out than what we were. So. And there's perks of getting away too and getting out of the house because when you come home, it's clean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like no one understands that. Like, it's like, okay, I leave. It's nice and clean. And then you come uh-huh. home you're like, oh, I mean, within minutes, it's probably going to get destroyed because like someone's going to throw their laundry or whatever the case is. Yeah. But when you come home and it's clean, it's like, yes, I didn't yeah, have to was do anything. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, I didn't, you know, less electricity, less air. We, we did good. We did good. <laughs> Yeah, except like I came home to the fridge like full of like stuff my daughter left. Oh. So she's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, you can have that and you can have that." I, was, I would think so. <laughs> Thanks for food shopping. I mean, it works out. <laughs> I absolutely love this topic, Sadie. I think it's a good one. I think, you know, mentally, a lot of people are struggling with this concept right now. Um, <laughs> also bringing people into a danger zone because some people are also forgetting what's actually going on. And some people are just disregarding the rules, the regulations, hence while more and more states, I feel like the states are starting to surround us and they're closing in, Yeah, getting yeah. me a little nervous because I was so bummed. I wanted to go see my sister in Virginia uh, in August and now we can't go. Um, because like I could quarantine for the 14 days when I get home, but my husband has to go back to work. And then yeah. also, I mean, I don't mind staying in her house because it's a getaway for me, but I also don't want to put others at risk. And I just feel it's a, it's a chance game that I'm not willing. But yeah. I mean, again, maybe you don't have multiple rooms in your house, but like, even like Sadie said, like, close your eyes, meditate. Um, I don't know, put some soft music on, put a great song on, write I know, like, I agree with you, Sadie. That is something that allows me to, like, jump out of my head. Right now, we should have so many future authors, like, budding. Because this is the time, like, where people are like, I never have time to do that. You have so much time. And, I, you know, I don't 
I don't know what's going to happen in September. Um, people keep asking me, I guess, cause I'm a teacher. I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but the whole, I think, especially this winter, we're going to need that. We're going to need that creative step out. Um, mm -hmm. because yeah. we don't know what certain like Bahamas isn't allowing people anymore. They're like, sorry, you're not coming over. So yeah. It's like, I can't, I cannot blame these other places that are like, because whenever there were flare ups in other areas, we were like, no, we don't want, you know, this. Right. And it makes sense. I mean, you got to understand both ways that, cause my family reunion was in South Carolina. Well, it is in South Carolina every year, and we're supposed to go back home for family reunion. And we're like, no, I mean, I remember speaking with my uncles, like, I was like, well, you know, you don't want a chance. And that was early on, but they knew going forward that there was no way it was happening. But early yeah. on, you know, just being on the fence about what to do. And they're like 500 people at my family reunion. So wow. there, oh yeah, God. we're at the wedding Pegues clan. The Pegues clan is a huge, huge clan. <laughs> it's like a wedding times two. You got two, like two weddings going on up in there. Yeah. Are you guys gonna do like a Zoom or I mean I know people are so sick and tired of Zoom calls and stuff. No, it's too many of us. We're just <laughs> they're just pushing it to next year. And hopefully, you know, we can uh get together because I have a lot of older family members and stuff and you know, we yeah. don't want to put them at risk as well as you know, you don't know really how it's gonna affect anyone younger anyway. So yeah, we just figure just play it safe and uh you know, try to push it to next year. So I actually, um, I finally got my buttons gear and started like hardcore exercising. Oh, I finished my yoga challenges today. I did a month long. Oh yeah. I saw those. Oh my God. I was getting so dizzy. <laughs> like I'm not used to going like upside down and stuff like that. And there were some days that I was just like, Oh, I just gave myself a massive migraine. Um, but that was my kind of step out. Like, you know, just go do some yoga. So now I'm like, I got my husband involved. So I'm like, listen, even oh, nice. 20 minutes nice. let's step out of this crazy world. And it was so funny because we did the fitness workout together and like, he left, he's like, love you so much, babe. I'm like, you're just nicer when you work out. So let's work out more. Let's work out more. <laughs> you know, boosts your like, um, endorphins and you feel good about yourself. I don't, I, I only had one cookie later that day instead of two. So it works. <laughs> no, it's cool. I mean, I think for me, I actually decided to go full force with writing this book I was going to write. So I may need to pick your brain at some point. And so <laughs> oh, exciting. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, you know, just trying to work on that and learn how to marry me just resume. Film, uh, filming again. We just filmed Exciting. quarantine style, which actually was great because all we did was talk and it was awesome because you never know what's going to fly out of everybody's mouth. So Do you have so, to like walk around your house to and film things or no? Well, for that particular one, we were just sitting, just talking, catching up because we haven't seen one another since before, you know, quarantine as far as all of us kind of talking and it was still only i think about three four of us on the on that particular zoom okay and uh yeah there was a lot of stuff each one of us were being filled filled in on that we didn't know it's going like wait what what happened you did what that's, that's crazy. crazy you know <laughs> so um yeah so that was interesting so we'll be doing that same type of setup i think again uh yeah, for our next filming. So, yeah, so things are kind of moving, but not really. So, so when you know. do you know when you guys are airing new episodes or you don't know yet? Um, I don't know if she's going to try to get a certain amount together before, because it's on a streaming network. It's on Jam Network. So okay. um, I'm not sure if they're just going to load them up as we, you know, as they get them edited and ready, or if they're just going to try to do a season's worth and then put them on. I'm not sure exactly what, what way they're going with it, but I will keep you posted. I'm excited. They should do like a whole bloopers episode. Those are my yeah. favorites. I, I know people hate me for that, but I'm always like, you guys understand the bloopers are the best. <laughs> they're the best. No, I, I like watching the bloopers of everything. So yeah, I would agree that they are the best. I may not like to see what I just said, but you know, hey. <laughs> Did anyone fall during filming? Like ever slip? No one's ever 
No, no one's ever fallen during okay. filming. These those are usually are- the good ones. Like, I hope the person's okay. I know that's mean, but those are the ones where you're like, oh. <laughs> like you know, like on Housewives of New York, it's just like they're always falling or falling off chairs. I uh, guess. Like they leave that in there, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, they're usually heavily intoxicated as well. <laughs> well, like I just was rewatch. I was watching not the newest one, but the one where Sonya like tips back on the chair, and I'm like, oh. but she gets up with grace. So you know what, Sonya Morgan, you do you. You do you. I love her. She freaking, she's a, oh, she's so funny. Because she is like, you can always count on some real stuff going down with her. Because she well, She is was a- in the kitchen and um, they were talking about, um, because uh, uh, Luann was talking about like her singing or whatever. Uh, and she's, yeah, and so I'm just like, I am a good singer. I am a good performer. Like she's just talking to herself while she's scooping her potato salad or whatever she's scooping. And I'm just cracking up. I'm like, yes. She's like, funny. Oh my gosh. She's a mess. She's so funny. I love her. I love her. <laughs> I love her. Oh my God. That would be, uh, that'd be cool. Maybe I try to get in touch with her if we had her on here. Oh my God. She cracks me up. I cannot. Like whenever I see her, like to me, she helps make the show. Cause like you were saying, like how she's over to herself, just like. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, shut up Ramona. <laughs> she don't care. She's just like, shut up. I- She's like the loose cat. I love like her energy. She's hilarious. She's what? just, like I said, she's, she's so real- back. Like her she's feet. Really- and she was like, woo. And she's like just swinging her feet in the air. Like nothing happened. Like if I fell off a chair, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> she, she makes it into a routine. She's ready to go. She's like synchronized <laughs> swimming down there. And <laughs> Darn, that was good. I wish I said that she's first. <laughs> Well, Sonia Morgan, if you hear us, we'd love to have you on the podcast. This would be me the whole time. Like, just, like, like, she, I, she, I would just, like, take it all in because she's a spitfire and, oh, man. I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to tweet her and be like, so do you want to be on a podcast? Like, we're nothing. Yeah, you got to tag her. I think she, even she's been doing some of this quarantine filming with Bravo, too. Like, she's, she's just freaking funny. She's oh yeah, she's like, I don't care. I don't care what you think. No, no. <laughs> Actually, it's so funny. Not, what my hair? I feel like Tinsley. You know, because Tinsley always. Oh, yeah. But she's not on it anymore. She's she uh she's like, she's doing her I, own thing. I I started watching some of I guess the latest season, and I missed the first the prior ones. I was trying to binge watch that so that I could get. And I was yeah. like, I'm too far. I got too much going. I, you know, I'll catch it when I can. But um. Even the newer girl that they got on there, she. Oh um, oh my God. Uh, I don't know her name. Leah. She, Leah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Leah? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, she's something else for. Her. I was like, <laughs> she is. Um, she's rough around the edges, but she's very blunt and. Yeah. I don't yeah. think some of the girls are used to that. I was like, okay, she's she reminds me of a Jersey, like a New Jersey castmate, like a housewife yeah. of Jersey, but she's just you know. Yeah, it was. I like funny. what she say. We're we're one, one drink away from a mug shot. She said or something like that right. on the one episode. I was like, oh, all right. I think I only caught her on the episode of some dinner party that they were having. It was. Oh my god, they have a dinner party every episode. It's insane. Yeah, this one was outdoors, and I think Sonya oh. was trying to get in between some. I was just like, and she was oh, doing but, cartwheels and yeah, her sister. All the she was hurt because Ramon was yeah. trying to say her sister couldn't come or some crap after she already told her she could. And I was just sitting there like, now mind you, I'd missed like the last season. I'm sitting there like, what the? Yep. Yep. It's good. It gets better. It gets better. I just watched the first part of Ramona's party. And then I got to catch up on the other. I usually like when my son naps because he doesn't want to watch that. And then like the other one that aired last night, I missed. So I got to watch that one. And then I'm caught up. Good to go. Yeah. No, I got to get caught up with Dorinda and everybody because. Oh, Dorinda. I, I, I love told her. Her husband, I said, you don't understand. I said, New York housewives, that's a whole other level. I'm like, they, they are like, it's like. Uh, I used to love Beverly Hills as my top. But now, um, no, wait, who, wait, when Lisa Vanderpump, was that Beverly Hills? Yeah, that's Beverly Hills. I love Lisa Vanderpump because she was just like, I'll tell you like it is, don't care. But yeah. then when she left, I don't, I don't know. And then New York, I was just like, yes, like I gravitate yeah. like, so much more. I think yeah. it was because in Beverly Hills, I was more shocked of like 
how much money they have. I was like, what? Oh my God. Like Lisa Vanderpump's house. Like I was like, can I be her intern? Like, like, I just want to get a glimpse of how you get there. Like I'll just I, open the door for you every time you want to walk in your glass doors. That's, yeah, exactly. I Windex it. <laughs> like, I got you. How, do you, how do I get to this level? Like, what, you know, what am I doing? But, you gotta um, drink more tea. That's the thing. You gotta drink more yeah, tea. Yeah, I Baby, guess drink your tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, all I'm saying is, for the next episode, oh my gosh, you keep bringing so many fire. I never said I would say that, and I'm about to say fire. 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 Episode. <laughs> oh, I was. I said it. Okay. No, but like. <laughs> You know what it is? It's one of those things where I will sit and you make me think about it. And then when you say it, I'm like, oh, like I feel the blonde in me is like, oh, okay, that was easy. <laughs> I think next time though, too, mm-hmm. I am going to, I want to study more of the ice cream, like brain thinking and I, I'm going to dissect it. Like I'm going to find out, like, let's say if you like chocolate, vanilla, like the basics, mm. hard ice cream toppings. No, I'm going to have you tell me again. And then I'm going to dissect it and tell you what type of person you are. Yes. Do that. I like being dissected and picked apart. Cause I'm like, <laughs> That's well, not- mine are probably like you're boring because I like your classic swirl with uh-huh. uh, chocolate syrup, whipped cream and bananas. Oh, you know what? I used to do that all the time. I used to. Then you grew up, and you're not a kid anymore. (laughs) And then, and then I started deciding that I needed my bananas for my yogurt. You know, so yeah. I'm still like, hi, I'm 16. (laughs) (laughs) They were just redirected. (laughs) I I, I should move this higher. Here we go. This is so much. There we go with my Tinsley Mortimer and banana (laughs) Sunday. tired. I'm so done. I'm done. All right, guys. So as you know, already it is a W W S U G a on Instagram. That's the place to follow. Yes. She shares all of her fabulous dancing moves. She shares her lip bar lipstick, which she's rocking right now. If you're listening in the car, um, the YouTube video always debuts on Wednesdays this way. Cause we, we want you guys to listen like, hello, listen first, watch next. Um, and then I share the link in the Instagram bio. Uh, Sadie has it everywhere. She's sometimes a better PR person than I am. Um, but I was telling Sadie, I'm very excited. We have Poland that is now adding to the mix. So Yakshimash. Um, <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> um, or I can say Kohemche, which means I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know. I learned a little. I dated a Polish guy in high school, so I learned oh, okay. a little. <laughs> I was I was taught other words from his mother, but I won't share them because they're not nice. <laughs> ah, I share them in secret. <laughs> yeah. So you, as you guys know, again, every first Sunday of the month, Sadie joins me here on the podcast with these ridiculously awesome topics that make me think. And then when she says what they are, sometimes I feel like my brain isn't working properly. But <laughs> today's topic, I truly appreciate it on a funny and a mental, stable solid way. Uh, I'm excited you did it because I went into my yoga moment right there for a second. Oh, way. <laughs> but, and you heard us talking about, um, she is again filming for her show, How to Marry Me. She's going to get us details. Um, follow her on Instagram. She'll shoot out any upcoming details. Maybe some behind the scenes. Oh my God, I love behind the scenes. You have to do behind the scenes. Like even yeah. if it's before filming and you're like, hey guys. Yeah, well, we used to do that a lot when we were together, but yeah, I'm going to have to do some from home or whatever. Yeah. Maybe then show it just us like like the outfits of the day. Like, here's what I'm wearing. We're filming and yay. Oh, yeah. Well, I actually, yeah, I did show the last outfit I filmed in. That's on my Instagram, like the last dress I wore. Yeah. Yeah. I always book. tell her, like, I had a, like, I mean, we're kind of wearing similar colors, but. Ah! Oh, that's cute. I just noticed. Oh, so it's like a little star on top of, yeah. That's oh, cute. so you know, your uh, package came back to my house, so I got to resend it. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot that you asked for my address. But I don't know why it came back. I have like all the right that's address. Weird. I put the stampage on it. And I'm right. kind of upset because it was like one of those, oh my God, my son just scared me. <laughs> I have to edit that out. No, bloopers. No. <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> He's like down here. 
Oh my God. I, it was like a little mini demon trying to break down the door. <laughs> okay. He's like, your time is up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, mom, now, you know what? You got you, enough of that creative mode. Step out. Step yeah, you've out. laughed enough. You've laughed enough. <laughs> So I'm going to resend it out in a different package. I don't know why um, I'm mad about it, but, and it took only what, two weeks for them to send it back to me. Oh, I I had that happen with some wedding invitations or stuff at once. Oh. And they, yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, well, I have to resend it. Thanks. I, all right. You know, I know there's a lot going on. I'm not getting mad about the mail. We're not going to go there. Yeah. Oh, all right. Children. Friends, we, we do have a more male listeners. They're up to 25%, mainly 66% females listening, but 25% of the males. Again, you guys have this option to leave Sadie a message. You can go to anchor.fm and then put in 4.0 in life. On the right-hand side, there's a button called message. If you click it, we got like a ghost flying around. I'm sorry, my lights just flickered. I'm sorry to turn around like, what is? <laughs> if you click on the, I see it, it's flickering. <laughs> If you sorry, click on sorry. the no, it's fine. If you click on the message button, leave a message, or you can always email one of us. You can hit us up on Instagram. Um, we would love to have guests join us. You definitely can join us here on the podcast. Whether you know, for it's a quick like stop in, you don't have to show your face if you don't want to. But we love hearing what you have to say. Again, stay tuned. <laughs> More <laughs> topics always from Sadie. And next time we meet. We're going to have her topic of Sadie says, but we're also going to dissect why certain people have a certain ice cream flavor. And what does that say about them? Hmm. I think your light just went off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the heck is going on. I thought maybe it was the television. Then I cut it off. I guess I didn't. Anyhow. Whatever. I guess your light saying you're done. Yeah, I guess it's trying to tell me something. Which one? I have, oh, I think. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I didn't even realize I had that one still on. Whatever. Listen, we have my demon child trying to bust through the door. We have your lights flickering. We have some good bloopers for today's episode. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you check us out on the Instagram. And yeah, let's talk more next Sunday. Bye. Bye. You have to hit that note. Bye. Oh, bye. Is that <laughs>